hello in this video we will discuss about cold worker pneumoconiosis so before discussing cold workers pneumoconiosis we will briefly discuss about the definition what is pneumoconiosis its pathogenesis and then we will uh, understand about cold workers pneumoconiosis so what is pneumoconiosis so pneumoconiosis is a non neoplastic it is not a neoplastic lung reaction it is non neoplastic lung reaction to inhalation of either mineral dusts or organic dusts or any vapors also which is encountered at workplace that is occupational so it is a non neoplastic lung reaction to uh, inhalation of certain substances so what are the substances which can cause pneumoconiosis so the agents can be either mineral dusts they can be organic things or certain chemical fumes so in mineral dust which are the very important ones are the coal dust now the coal dust will lead to coal workers pneumoconiosis then there is silica asbestos these three are very important then beryllium iron oxide barium sulfate in the organic one you have moldy hay bagasse bird droppings and certain chemical fumes so these are the reasons behind the pneumoconiosis now these are the agents now how the pathogenesis proceeds now uh, how uh, pneumoconiosis will develop or not develop will depend upon certain things so first is the amount of dust which is retained in the lung or the airway so if the dust uh, in the surrounding is very concentrated that means the person is exposed to higher concentration so therefore he will be at higher risk then secondly duration to which the person is exposed to that dust and lastly defective clearance mechanism so if you know uh, in patient who smoke so there is a defective ciliary mechanism the cilia which are used to clear the airways are defective so if defective clearance mechanism is present it will again uh, increase the risk of person developing pneumoconiosis then second important thing is size and shape of the particles now particle size which are larger they are effectively removed by the cilia however or they are entrapped in the mucus of the respiratory system however the size which is 1 to 5 microns okay the 1 to 5 microns they can reach the terminal small airways the air sacs and therefore they can settle in the linings so these are the most dangerous ones the 1 to 5 micron ones then certain particles they are soluble okay and they react to the body differently so if the person inhales a chemical which is soluble it will produce rapid effect on the body that it will give a acute response however the uh, the thing is not soluble so then what will happen if it is not soluble then it will give a chronic response then it will give a chronic response so it will be more fibrosing the uh, particle will be more fibrosing if it is non soluble then certain other uh, uh, concomitant irritants are present so the person is exposed to coal and is uh, simultaneously uh, smoking also it will increase the effect okay then uh, you have certain particles they activate the macrophages so the macrophages they release free radicals which will uh, which are the reactive oxygen species and they will damage the lung parenchyma they can also release chemotactic factors certain fibrogenic cytokines these can stimulate fibrosis so if the macrophages are uh, stimulated they can damage the uh, lung parenchyma through the reactive oxygen species they can fib cause fibrosis through fibrogenic cytokines so this is the pathogenesis of the pneumoconiosis now going to what is coal worker pneumoconiosis coal worker pneumoconiosis as the name suggests it's a lung disease which is caused by inhalation of the coal particles so coal particles mostly in the coal mines the persons who are working in the coal mines they get exposed to the coal particles for a longer duration however with the advancement of technology the dust to which the persons are now exposed has drastically reduced 
what is the spectrum of the disease which is caused in coal worker pneumoconiosis so spectrum first is the asymptomatic anthracosis in this the person is mostly asymptomatic and we will discuss what is the gross in the marfol the microscopy in the case of anthracosis is just deposition of small carbon particles in the lung then second is simple coal worker pneumoconiosis with little or no pulmonary dysfunction it is a simple coal worker pneumoconiosis then last one is the complicated coal worker pneumoconiosis complicated one is also known as progressive massive fibrosis now in this uh, condition the lung function is compromised in earlier two condition there is little dysfunction okay the first one has it is totally asymptomatic only now going to what is anthracosis now anthracosis is the most harmless most innocuous form of coal induced pulmonary lesion this anthracosis is also seen in normal persons who are exposed to regular very pollution they are exposed to inhalation of carbon due to smoking so anthracosis can seen also be seen in those persons so here what happens is the inhaled carbon particle is engulfed by the alveolar or interstitial macrophages and it accumulates in the connective tissue near the bronchi or the lung hyalus so you will just see small small carbon pigmentation and grossly also if you will see lung will be slightly pigmented so here you can see the pigment which is deposited along the lymphatics so there is no fibrosis at all okay what all is not present there is no fibrosis which is present so here only carbon deposition is there what happens in simple coal worker pneumoconiosis this is the second part second in this what happens is there is beginning of slight fibrosis okay mild fibrosis not heavy fibrosis mild fibrosis very less mild fibrosis so in this there are coal macules which are present that is there are a cluster of macrophages which contain carbon laden uh, which are carbon laden so macule macule they consist of carbon laden macrophages and also can have slight increase in collagen fiber that is fibrosis is slightly increased the upper lobes and upper zones of the lower lobes they are more involved in this case and if this continues it can also lead to emphysema so this is the simple coal worker pneumoconiosis in this what you have to remember is there uh, fibrosis is very less then third is the complicated one now this is typically uh, uh, characterized by fibrosis okay its other name is progressive massive fibrosis so you can again okay, there is mainly fibrosis which is present now in this it uh, begins as a simple disease only but with the years and years of exposure it gets converted into a uh, progressive massive fibrosis here you will have scarring which is present this scarring can be small like 1 cm or it can also go to 10 cm so here what you have to remember is there is fibrosis there collagen uh, collagen is increased fibrosis is there and the pigment is always there and it takes very many years to develop so in the picture if you see so here this is the picture of anthracosis there is just small small pigment which is present now the pigmentation if it increases forms macules this is a simple coal worker pneumoconiosis and lastly here you can see it is heavily pigmented lung and if you will see the microscopy uh, you will see intense fibrosis which is present this is the progressive massive fibrosis so there is one syndrome which is associated with various uh, pneumoconiosis it is known as kaplan syndrome we will just briefly discuss it kaplan syndrome is development of rheumatoid arthritis in persons who are suffering from coal worker pneumoconiosis silicosis or asbestosis now this is known as kaplan syndrome that is rheumatoid arthritis in certain pneumoconiosis now going to the clinical course what is the clinical course now coal worker pneumoconiosis is generally very benign condition there is no 
uh, uh, symptoms which are present only symptoms which we'll see is in the progressive massive fibrosis condition uh, because of pulmonary dysfunction it can lead to pulmonary hypertension or call pulmonary and also if once the fibrosis develops it is very uh, difficult uh, to reverse it it is irreversible kind it will worsen if the for, uh, even if the further exposure to drug, uh, dust is prevented because fibrosis the, the stage is all is not reversible also uh, there is uh, seen to be having no increased risk of lung carcinoma if there is concomitant tobacco smoking which is going on then there is increase in lung carcinoma however it the otherwise there is no increase uh, this was all about the coal workers pneumoconiosis. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I already have a video of as on asbestosis. You can watch that also. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Ask your queries in the comment section. Thanks students.